The goal of this lecture is to help you understand what a Windows Domain and Windows Domain Controller is. Windows Domains have been around since 1993 with the release of Windows NT. They provide system administrators an efficient way to manage small or large networks. You only need one domain controller, or DC for short, to build a Windows Domain, although most Windows Domains contain several servers and computers. A domain controller is any server that has the AD, DS, or Active Directory domain services role installed. The server's job is to handle authentication requests across the domain. Domain controllers hold the tools Active Directory and Group Policy, among others. So when you need to create a new user account or change domain policies, this is all done from a domain controller. You can have several domain controllers within a domain, but there is only one primary or main domain controller. The primary reason for having more than one DC is fault tolerance. The critical information, like user and account information, is replicated between the DCs, so if one goes down, the client computers will switch to the other DC that is still functioning. Domain controllers use a tool called Active Directory Users and Computers, commonly referred to as AD or Active Directory. This tool is used to not only manage user and computer accounts, but it also acts as a directory service for resources on your network, like printers or file shares. When a domain user searches for a new printer to install, they will find all the printers that have been added to the domain controller with Active Directory. When a user attempts to log into a domain computer, that is any computer that is joined to a Windows domain, the computer first looks for a matching local user account that resides on the computer itself. If it does not find one, then it reaches out to its domain controller and attempts to find a domain user account that is stored in the directory service Active Directory. AD is a tool to manage domain users, computers, printers, file shares, groups, and more. These are all considered AD objects. Groups contain members which can be any valid AD object, a user, a computer, etc. By default, there are several groups that come with AD, like domain admins, domain users. All of these AD objects are stored within folders called organizational units. Group policy management, often called GP or just group policy, is another important tool that is located on a domain controller. It allows an administrator to manage all the domain users or domain computers remotely. Group policy uses GPOs or group policy objects to manage the settings of valid AD objects. You can target specific AD objects, specific OUs, or the entire domain if you'd like. Basically, anything you want to create a custom setting for, you can do it with group policy. You can configure the desktop backgrounds for certain users or computers, manage what websites they can visit in Internet Explorer, manage security settings, or countless other settings with group policy. To recap what we've covered in this lecture, a Windows domain allows management of small or large computer networks. They use a Windows server called a DC or Domain Controller. A DC is any server that has the Active Directory Domain Services role installed. DCs respond to authentication requests across the domain. DCs have the tools Active Directory and Group Policy. Active Directory contains objects and OUs. Group Policy contains GPOs and managed settings for AD objects. Great job getting through this lecture. I know it's a lot of information. You might want to watch this one again. There'll be a quiz on this later in this section. So great job getting through this, and I'll see you in the next one.